hello friends in my previous video i showed you that a service can have two kind of life cycle it can be either a bound service or it can be a started service or it can be both it can contain both the life cycles so in my previous video i showed you the bound service example where i had a button to bind to a service and a button to unbind from service in my activity main.xml i had a text view and then i had these two buttons bind service and bind service in main activity i've created a service connection called connection using this code and then i used it in button one on click when button one was clicked i created an intent to move to my service class and then i used this code bind service using the intent and the connection and this flag bind auto create in my service class it extends service and here it has this on bind method this on bind method and in this on bind method i use my schedule executor which is a schedule executor service and i run this every second to update the text in main activity text of text view in main activity to the current time and then i have an unbind button here in main activity and when this button is clicked i unbind service connection and in my service dot java class i have this unbind method when this is executed i shut down this scheduled executor service so it will stop running currently when i started it was running at running once every second here initial delay one second period one second and time unit seconds okay now uh, let's have a look at the app here is the app when i click on bind service it starts showing the current time and you can see the seconds is increasing and when i click on unbind service it stop but suppose if i click on bind service and close the app by clicking this back button and now again if i open it here you can see that the timer or the clock has stopped and i again have to start it by using bind service now let's see what happens when we use the on start method means when we use the start service method so for that we will have the same activity main.xml but instead of bind service i will write start service and instead of unbind service i will write stop service now let's go to main activity dot java so here when the button one is clicked instead of bind service i will be using start service so here it has start service which only uses the intent so here i can directly put this intent and it doesn't need the connection so let me remove this connection okay so now i have removed the service connection and i have used intent for which i have set the class to my service dot class and then i start the service using intent okay here you can have a look at this complete view and then on create i have set the content view then i have defined this text view as a static text view so 
so that I can use it in the service class. After this, I have defined these two buttons by using their IDs, and then I have set the current date and time to the text of text view. Okay, and after this, I have button one on click listener and button two on click listener. In button one, I use intent to move to my service dot class. In button two, I will not be will not require this. So let me just remove this. Okay, button two is for stopping the service. Now let's move to my service. So when we use start service. In my service, the next command will be which will be executed is it is not on bind, it will be on start, on start command. So here I will use this public int on start command. So here it automatically adds this, it contains the variables intent, flags. And the start ID. So we need a start ID for this. Let, let's go back here. So since my since this on bind is not executed in my service, I will remove this code from on bind. And I will paste it in on start command. Here, instead of returning the binder, I will return null and I will remove this binder from here. So, here in this my service class which extends service i have declared a schedule executor service which is my schedule executor and in on start command i define it as executor start new scheduled thread pool one it has one thread pool so it will start one thread and i schedule it at fixed rate i schedule at fixed rate in which i have a runnable which continuously runs and for this runnable, the initial delay is one, period is one, and time unit is second. So it will continuously run every second. Means it will repeat this every second. So in the while it is repeating every second, I set the text of text view of main activity. Main activity dot text view dot set text current time plus new date. When you call new date, it will Give you the current date and time so this is in on start and since we do not have on bind i return null here and on unbind is not required here so i will remove this but i will need this my executor dot shutdown that i will do in on destroy method so here I will add a public void on destroy and in this I will add this my schedule executor dot shutdown. So when the service is being destroyed it will shut down this timer also so that it doesn't crash. Now I will remove this on, on unbind. Okay, on bind is required, so that's why I have not removed this, but it returns null. So instead of using code in on bind, now we use the same code in on start command. And in main activity.java, here when button 2 is clicked, I will use stop service with the intent. Okay, so here we have to add the intent also. So for that, I must define this intent 
outside this so let me just cut it from here and i will paste it outside so now it seems fine here i define the intent then in button one on click i start service using the intent and when button two is clicked i stop service of this intent when this is clicked it will destroy the service and in while it is being destroyed will shut down the executor the scheduled task executor or the scheduled executor service now let's check this now uh, one more thing which i would like to tell you is that in android manifest.xml you have to declare this service so here you can see that inside this application tag i have this service tag with name dot my service i have added my service because the name of my file is my service dot java now let's check this So now it has compiled. So now when I click on start service, you can see that the clock starts running and it displays the current time, current date and time, including seconds. And when I click on stop service, the clock stops. Now let's check what happens if we close that. So if I click on start service, the clock starts running. Now when I click on this back button, now the app is closed. If I again start this app, you can see that the clock is still running. So this means the service was running in background while we closed the app. So this is how we can use the start service and stop service. So if we have to stop it, we have to open the app and click on this button this is stop service and then this clock will stop and the service will stop but if i click it again here it doesn't crash so this is better than bind and bind so that's on this video thank you very much for watching this